Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is Chris Johnson and I'm on the streaming team here at Datastax. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a Pulsar function to consume and produce messages using multiple topics. If you want to follow along and you don't have a deployment of Pulsar ready to go, you can go to astra.datastax.com forward slash register streaming and get a free Pulsar instance up and running in no time. If you have any questions about today's video, you can email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will reach the team at Datastacks, where we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Producing and consuming messages with Apache Pulsar is pretty simple as you'd expect. Any number of producers can publish messages to a single topic. Clients consume messages from a topic by creating subscriptions, and there can be any number of subscriptions for a given topic. In a slightly more advanced pattern, consumers can consume from multiple topics at the same time. In this example, we have two producers and two topics. The consumer is subscribed to both topics and consuming messages from either as they arrive. Things get trickier when you want to produce a message and place it on multiple topics. In Pulsar, a producer cannot publish messages to more than one topic. If you need to do this, you'll need a client that creates two separate producers, each publishing to a single topic. You can use the Pulsar client libraries to do this in applications written in any number of languages, and you can also create Pulsar functions to do this as part of the stream. As we know, functions are lightweight processes used to consume messages from a topic, apply some processing to the message, and then publish the message to another topic. Typically, a function will be subscribed to a single topic and published to a single topic. In a more complex scenario, a function can be configured like any other consumer to subscribe to multiple topics. In order to publish to multiple topics, a function needs to create multiple producers, one for each topic. At this point, let's take a look at how we can use a function to consume messages from and publish messages to multiple topics. To speed things along, I've already created a series of topics that we'll work with for this demo. As you can see, I have two input topics, input topic 1 and input topic 2. I also have three output topics that we'll use later in the demo. I'm going to begin by creating a consumer that subscribes to multiple topics using the regular expression command line argument. I'll use the dash n argument to tell the client to listen continuously. The client is now subscribed to all the topics that start with input topic, and when I produce messages on either topic, we'll see the client consume them. At this point, I'm going to publish a message to input topic 1 that says hello. As we can see in the bottom right, the message was received by the consumer. Now let's publish a message to input topic 2. There we go, the same consumer received a message from input topic 2 as well. That's how easy it is to configure a consumer to use multiple topics. As I mentioned earlier, a producer can only publish messages to a single topic. For this part of the demo, I'm going to create a function that will route messages to a particular topic based on their content. I'll use the same two input topics and I'll have three separate output topics. Incoming messages will be filtered by the name in the message. Messages with Chris and then will go to output topic Chris. Messages with Bob will go to output topic Bob. And everything else will go to the default output topic that is specified when I create the function. At this point I'm going to create a function called filter function. It's going to reference the jar file that contains the multi-topic output function class that I just showed you. It's going to use the topics pattern argument to specify the group of input topics to subscribe to, and it's going to use the output argument to specify the default output topic. Now that the function is running, let's give it a try. In the three terminals on the right, I'm creating three consumers that will consume from each of the three output topics. In the top, we have a consumer that is consuming from the Chris topic. In the middle, we have a consumer consuming from the Bob topic. And in the bottom, we have a consumer consuming from the default topic. Now let's create some messages and see what happens. My first message is going to say, hello, Chris, and it's going to go to input topic one. As you can see, the message was produced, and then it was, and then it was consumed by the consumer listening on the Chris topic. Now let's create a second message that says, hello, Bob, and is going to the input topic two. So we have hello Bob on the Bob topic. 
And now let's create a third message that says hello Steve and goes to the input topic too. There you go. As you can see, the, that message went to the default topic. So there you have it. We now have a function that is consuming messages from multiple topics and routing them to the correct topic based on their content. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button. That will make it easier for other people to find this video and grow the Pulsar community. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will go to the Pulsar team here at Datastacks. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.